Say what you want about Korok seeds. There are too many of them, they're well off the beaten path, they're monotonous to collect, the rewards aren't that good. But at the end of the day, I don't think that Korok seeds were put into the game for any of those reasons. They weren't there so that the player could feel rewarded. They weren't there so that the player could collect all of them. They were there for the, exactly the reason of getting the player off the beaten path to see the vistas that they would have otherwise missed just by playing the story. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. When we last left off, we listened to the Jeruk podcast. Yes, that's right, they recorded so many voice lines for Jeruk that it took up a gigantic time slot of the episode and forced me to split last episode into two videos, which is what this is. This particular segment is recorded now. I mean, I guess both of these will have been recorded in the past for you, but this one is being recorded now uh, with the knowledge that I'm splitting them into two, as I just said. And we're going to be going to Hateno a little bit at, uh, later in this video, but for now we are going to read Rivali's journal, talk to some people just to see if there are any new quests in Goron City, and then we can consider it cleared and then go give the same treatment to Heiteno Village. So let's start off with Bardo. Morning, what a beautiful day. By the way, what are you doing here? Who are you? No matter how you slice it, I'm Bardo of the Gorons. E ever since that big lizard appeared on Death Mountain, there have been lots of monsters in this area. I'm here to make sure they don't come anywhere near us. Anything else? No, I think that's good. Goodbye. Okay, so let's start off the episode. I did say I would with Daruk's journal. We can probably talk to... Boldo, is that your name? Bludo. Because he'll tell us where it is. So let's start it off with that. <clears throat> it's still early in the day, but it's already hot out. You need something, little man. You tiny pipsqueak, you. Tell me about Daruk. <clears throat> you wanna know about Daruk, huh? Popular subject these days. Not too long ago, a real bard came and wanted to know all about him. I told him all kinds of things, for example, about the Boulder Breaker, Daruk's weapon of choice. I told him how heavy it is and how its power is unmatched and all that. You know the valley at Gortrum Cliff, southwest of Gorko Tunnel? It was made by Daruk with his Boulder Breaker in one night. Why? Why, why do you think? To make it easier for us Gorons to get all that tasty rock roast. That Rito fella seemed to like the other story I told him better, though. I'm not a big fan of that one. The heroic and exciting Dr stories of Daruk capture him so much better. Was there something else you needed? Another scorcher today. It's always scorching. I love to scorch these people who ask me stupid questions like you. Where is the di- I mean, sorry, where is the diary? Maybe it's at Yonobo's place. L let's see, is it in here? There's a boulder breaker. Doesn't look like it. That's sad. I think I might have to look this one up, guys, since this is the crux of this episode. I think I'll have to look it up. But while I'm here, there is a Korok seed, as you can see marked by my map. Uh, I don't I don't just find these blindly. That would be super that would be very impressive. I do use a guide. I, I didn't use a guide for like the first five hundred, I think, but I'm using guide for everything subsequent. So let's grab this Korok seed real quick. This is at Yonomo's place. Boom, timestamp, all that jazz. Let's grab this. <laughs> 834. Bam. Is this Yonobo's place? Oh, that yeah, that's a book. Oh, is this actually Yonobo's place, or did I just stumble across it blindly? Are there signs here? There are no signs. There are no signs. Well, this... I'm just gonna assume this is Yonobo's place, otherwise it was stolen. Now let's read this journal. Read Druk's uh, training journal. First page. I'm gonna start writing in this diary thing, starting now. Ugh, a diary. Maybe I'll call it my training journal. They say all you gotta do is write down stuff that happens. Us Gorons prefer sim the simple life, so I hope simple stuff counts. Let's see. Uh, for today's journal entry, uh, what should I write about? Oh, I know. I had some rock roast from the peak of Death Mountain. It was delicious. I think I'll eat more of it soon. I talked to some Hylians at the base of the mountain. All anyone wants to talk about these days is Calamity Ganon. 
Reminds me of the of when those tiny Sheikah came to Death Mountain a few years ago to dig up that divine beast or whatever. The Hylians were saying that beast thing is a weapon someone will need to learn how to control. Back in the good old days, Gorons didn't need to worry about relics we couldn't eat. Hmm, now I'm hungry. Maybe I'll track down some prime rock roast for one of my dinners tonight. Today I saw someone being attacked when I was out looking for lunch rocks at the peak. He was a, ti he was a little tiny guy, so I rushed down the mountain to help him. I was shocked to find he was handy with a sword. By the time I rolled his way, he'd already taken out all the monsters. I couldn't help but, ad but admire his Goron-like strength. While I was distracted, a monster almost got the jump on me. He stopped it. The Great Darut. Saved by a tiny Hylian. He must- I must have had a dopey look on my face when that happened. Hope he didn't notice. Ah, that was me. Alright. Good to know. That little Hylian from before is named Link. Well, I would have found <laughs> that out sooner or later. He's got a respectable appetite. Loves to eat meat, fruit, vegetables, bugs for whatever reason, and sometimes he even eats raw flint. All sorts of things a decent person wouldn't dream of eating. Link will cook up and eat just about anything. I offered him some grade A rock roast to help refine his palate. I asked him how it tasted. He liked it so much, he was speechless. I knew Hylians could eat rocks too. Eating isn't the only thing Link and I have in common. The little guy also is also incredibly strong. He said that sometimes when he focuses, it feels like time slows down. Heh, <laughs> I really like that guy. He's the type of guy you can trust to have your back and also have a nice hearty meal with. Yeah, that settles it. From now on, Link is an official brother. Hyrule's little princess came to uh, Goron City and asked me to pilot the Divine Beast. I said yes. The Great Daruk never turns down someone in need. When I said I would, the princess seemed really happy. There will be four champions to control four Divine Beasts, and one swordsman take on Ganon. Including the princess, our anti-Ganon team is six strong, made up of all different kinds of people. This has the makings of an epic feast. I got, a, got the ball rolling by giving the princess my best rock roast. She said thanks, but... I think she might have been holding back a grimace. Must have had something foul on her mind. I'm a champion now. Feels good. I haven't talked with Link in a while, so seeing him at the inauguration ceremony was nice. It was a good day. Oh, word has it that Link has been chosen as Zelda's appointed knight. I can't think of a better brother for the job. I hear one of those ancient machine uh, machine things went nuts during some test and shot out deadly beams. With true gore on spirit, Link grabbed a pot lid from the ground and deflected the blast. He nailed the thing in its weak spot and saved the day. His bravery caught the thing king's eye, and not long after that, he was appointed to guard Zelda. I'd expect nothing less from the little guy. I've been chosen to pi pilot Rudania, but I, I was having trouble controlling it. I was the only champion who was struggling. I asked Link for advice, but he just shoved me into the Divine Beast so I could explore it aimlessly all day. I couldn't explain it, but by the end of the day, I was able to control Rudania just how I wanted to. I guess experience is the best teacher. Little guy's strength must come from working hard and never giving up. Good lesson, brother. As thanks, I'm going to treat him to some gourmet sirloin rock. All my Hylian brother seems to do these days is watch over the tiny princess when she does her research. It looks like tough work, but the princess is, seems a lot happier and talks more since she's been doing it. So it must be okay. Uh, that version of okay I hate. <clears throat> Sorry. I hear the little guy finally opened up about his troubles to the princess while they were shoveling food. Surprisingly, she opened up right back. She said something princessy like, I guess we're one and the same, you and I. Hmm, sounds heavy. They must have been bonding over food, their food preferences. That'll do it alright. Speaking of opening up, all this journal writing has made me realize something about myself. Writing makes me hungry. Well. That's it. <laughs> I was expecting him to lead up to the final day of of peace, like the other ones did. But no, he, he gave us some cool insight about, about Link's character. Link actually having a character and admitting certain things. Like, the slowing down time thing, that's something that Link is actually perceiving. It's not a mechanic. And and that's pretty cool. That That is not something I expected. I, ex I always thought that it was kind of breaking the fourth wall a little bit because time isn't really slowing down, right? How could it? But it's just uh, a mental thing that Link has. It feels like when he gets that surge of adrenaline from dodging a an attack, it feels like time slows down, which honestly, when you have adrenaline surging through your veins, that's kind of what it feels like. 
cool stuff. Cool to see Link utilizing his own mental quirks to his advantage. All right, uh, we're gonna be walking around town. I'm not going to be montaging talking to people because I feel like we've talked, we've spoken to most of the people in Goron Village, Goron City. But I will just walk around, see if there are any red quest bubbles. And if not, then we'll head over to the mining town and then over to Hanteno. Hey, you're the little one I met at Lord Daruk's turf. Since then, I've been wandering around a bunch and thinking about how brave Lord Daruk was. Thanks, Juan. The truth is, I had this strange feeling in my gut since I returned. Sounds nuts, but ever since I've been exploring the champ's turf, I feel reinvigorated, like I could take on the whole world. Maybe you think, uh, do you think maybe Lord Daruk shared some of his secret champion mojo with me? Oh, speaking of gifts, I picked this up as a souvenir of sorts. Go ahead and take it. Think of it as a keepsake. The su that souvenir is all yours, little guy. My tastes are too refined to eat that junk. Maybe it'll remind you of your travels. By the way, you came in a good time. Ever since that lizard monster lurking on Death Mountain was tamed, it's safe again. That means you can take it easy. Then again, it may, it may be safe, but it's still pretty hot. Not a quest, but doesn't mean we need to complete a quest or receive a, a, a reward. Good on ya. Glad you got some, some of Druk's mojo. <laughs> Bah! You scared me! What is it? Now then, I think that might conclude our Goron expedition. Onward to Hiteno! A while back, quite a few episodes actually, I accidentally picked up a quest called Sun Shroom Sensing. I don't remember why I didn't just reload a save, but there was some reason I had that gave me an inability to reload the save. In short, the the man, uh, Simon, he wanted us to take a picture of a sun shroom, which are located right behind the tech lab. So, let's go do that now that we are here. Uh, there's a quick side, side door. We could probably complete this quest in a matter of... Future pal, please time this. Please time this speed run. Hello, Simon. Were you able to take a picture of the sun shroom? Yes, I was. Let me confirm. There you go. It doesn't have anything on it. Seems like you got a picture of a sun shroom. Excellent. Next, open your Hyrule Compendium, compendium and tune the sensor to your picture of the sun shroom. The Sheikah Slates Plus will the Sheikah Sensor Plus will be able to detect sun shrooms. The detailed instructions are written down in the book on the desk there. You should read them. This seems like a nice opportunity to ask if you'd mind bringing me three sun shrooms. If you can find three, you can find three sun shrooms growing in Retsum Forest, I believe. The Sheikah Sensor Plus should make a snap. Get it? A snap? Well, we have all three. Ah, I see you've brought, th you have three. Okay, now please hand over those three sun shrooms. Thank you. Here you go. Ooh, that's a great conversion. So, was the Sheikah Sensor Plus to your liking? Oh, yes. I just remembered there was something else I wanted to talk to you about. Stop by when you have the time to talk. Sunshroom sensing complete. Do you have time now? Ah, Link, I've got some news that should be music to your ears. I found a way to help you search for new objects using Sheikah Sensor Plus. Please, feel free to show your excitement. Anyway... As I was conducting my research, I found that there were s still some pictures of the past left on the gu Guidance Stone. If you add those pictures to your Hyrule Compendium, you can search for those subjects with the Sheikah Sensor Plus. Is it hard? Hard? No, 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 not at all. The Sheikah Sensor has been powered up to the Sheikah Sensor Plus. You can now access a picture registered in your Hyrule Compendium, allowing you to search for the subject of the picture. I trust you can now see the benefit of adding pictures to your Compendium. It makes it much easier to search for items you need, reducing one more burden you face in your travels. Shall I explain it once more? I'm good. Now then, go ahead and place your Sheikah Slate on the Guidance Stone. I don't normally l like to let people use my little Guidance Stone for free, but I kind of want to see what'll happen. So just this once, I'll let it pass. Well, you heard her. Could you go over and use the Sheikah Slate? Uh, yeah. Let me try that again. I was doing fine this episode. Well, you heard her. Could you go and use the Sheikah Slate over there? Sure. Thank you. Let's go ahead and turn on the, Sheik the Guidance Stone. Snap! Oh, and I didn't even have to walk over. The convenience! I'm a bit excited, too, to see what this does. Adding picture to Hyrule Compendium. 
We haven't seen this animation in about 40, no, 50 episodes. 60 episodes. This is all new. <laughs> did we just get apples? Did we just get, did we just get apples? <laughs> oh man, we can search for apples now. <laughs> uh. Oh wow, this is... It, re it seems the Hyrule Companion recovered a picture from the past. It appears the picture from the Guidance Stone was transferred to your Hyrule Compendium. You can't restore transferred pictures, so be careful of overriding it. You can fill in open slots by taking pictures of the camera or by using the Guidance Stone. And it won't be for figure free for now on either. Keep it Keeping a lab like this running has expenses, you know. Yes, uh, what she said. Can I just keep doing this? I'm, I'm currently trying to dodge the blood moon, in case you couldn't understand my my rush. Also, what is that on the ceiling? Um, there's nothing more I can do for you, unless you want to chat. Uh, you. Ah, what do you need? I need a picture. Whoa. It, okay. This is useful. This is surprisingly useful. We can just buy this stuff and fill it out. Huh. Let's just, let's spam this. I'm going to cut this out. I'm going to see if I can uh, fill out my entire inventory. Or entire compendium. Oh my word. I'd like all of them. I'm light on rupees. How many can you, I could get, uh, 150? I just found a new way to get 100%. Oh, this is great. I could sell all my garbage. I have a reason to sell my garbage. This is amazing. Yes! Take them! I have no money! I have no money and I just bought all of them! This is great! I don't know why I'm excited about this, but I am. Oh, I, I'm going I'm going downstairs, and by downstairs I mean I'm going to the, the village, and I am I'm selling all my junk! I'm selling all my junk! I've gone crazy! I did a little bit of selling uh, in the two seconds that I've been gone. If you look at my inventory here, I have 25,000 rupees. Now you might ask, so did you just sell all of your possessions? No. <laughs> no, I didn't. I sold all four diamonds I had. And then, I brought uh, th these two numbers to 50 and 40. And that gave me 25,000 rupees. I also brought my amber count down to 100 from 170. And I would like to point out that I still have Moblin Guts, I have the- I have Lionel stuff, I have a ton of Lionel stuff, which this sells for a lot. So I am- I think I might have about 200, uh, 100,000 rupees, probably. I need a picture. I need a lot of pictures. Give me all the pictures. This is so great. I'd like all of them, please. For 2,000. <laughs> now, does there- is there a purpose to this? No, there's not. There's no purpose to this. It just gives them to you. At least I think. I don't think this would count for 100%. Yes, please. I would like all of them. For lots of money. <laughs> this is, I think, a bit cathartic to me because I remember always wishing that I could do this exact thing in The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker because it's it's so hard to do it. You can only store three pictures at a, at a time. And... There's a, a miniature gallery, or a, uh, a statuette gallery, that you can, you can get. And I believe, no, that's not required for, uh, for 100%, but, or for all the heart pieces. But you can, uh, you can do that, and it looks really cool, and you can fill out rooms with it. And I've always wanted to do it, but I, I just haven't, because it requires way too much work. Way too much work than, I would say, even doing... 900 Korok seeds. It's that intensive and annoying to do because as soon as you fill up your camera You have to warp all the way back to Windfall Island go down the thing uh, down the the shoot Through like five loading screens Give him the three pictures and then leave again and like even if you do it as you go. It's just not Conducive Wow, that only cost six thousand rupees. Okay. Well, we have them all <laughs> 
We're nuts. We're crazy. We don't know. We just spent... We just spent, uh, 37,000 rupees on photographs? I think we actually did. Link! My goodness! Have you really collected every picture? Incredible! I never dreamed that I might one day see a complete collection. This level, level of dedication to research deserves a reward, but I'm not sure what the lab budget has... I'm not sure the lab budget has room for one. I just gave you... You cheapskating two-timer. I just gave you 20, or sorry, 37,000 rupees. Although, if he's that passionate about pictures, maybe. Well, it'll have to do. Here, I found the sandwich in a book. I have no interest in it myself, so did take it? What? On... What did he just give us? Inside the envelope is a picture of a beautiful young woman of the Sheikah tribe? The woman in the picture. You know, suppose it's... I can't look- What? I can't look at it! I can't look at it! Why? That's such a tease! Ah! Hello. I have an envelope here. Wait, wait, I can't even- What? What is it? What do I use this for? Ah. Link, I'm incredibly impressed you have managed to collect all the pictures. There is nothing more I can offer you, but I wouldn't mind your company every now and then. What do I do with it? It's classified. Do I have, do I have it in my inventory somewhere? Oh yeah, Moldu King. Yeah. Uh, do I have it in my inventory somewhere? Maybe in the compendium. Where would this be? <laughs> Treasure? I could make a terrible pun about that. No. This is pretty cool, but uh, well, that's sad. I can't even talk to her about it. That's lame. It's lame. I don't need to know about this. Go away. Leave. That's so sad. I don't even know where we are in the episode. I'm gonna do a quick stop by, just see if there are any new quests, and if not, I'll probably just end the episode. We, we've spent enough time with me lollygagging around. Actually, no, there is one quest. Actually, there is one quest I can think of, as I spam the word actually. Here, let me sleep and uh, let's do that quest real, just real quick to end off the episode. Is it this woman who has it? No, that's a guy. Is it her? Yes, 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 yes. They'll pay. They'll all pay. Hey, you. What do you want? Oh, don't act so clueless, although fine. You seem harmless enough. Forgive me, I've just been on edge with all these monsters running around. They come up from Hateno Beach to steal my sheep. If something one doesn't do it, it's something soon. I won't have any left. The Sheep Rustlers. I saw this a long time ago. It stuck in my mind because she was yelling and raving. I'm going to complete this real quick, especially since I know... I think I know. Yeah, I know where to go. Let's warp up here. Let's fly down there. Let's beat this quest. Let's warp back. Oh, he didn't see me. They don't know. This is the last guy. Oh, there's one more. I didn't see him. And... Whew, got him. That was a bit sloppy at the end there, but... We freed the sheep. 
We take we claim the reward and hopefully no one else will steal the sheep because it's gonna be our job because that's how it works in a video game. Everything is your job. Hello, farmer lady! I killed those people for you when your sheep are all at the beach, but they're magically back. The sheep have all calmed down. Oh, sorry. The sheep have all calmed down. I think that they... That they're not about to be snatched at any... Oh, wait. <clears throat> I think they get that they're not about to be snatched any moment. She's not angry anymore, so she can go back to her normal voice. Hey, sorry if I'm off the mark in asking this, but are you the one who took care of those monsters? That's sure correct. I had a feeling. When the sheep all calmed down, I thought, maybe he did it. So, it seems I owe you some thanks. This isn't much of a reward, but hey, it's light. That counts for something. Fresh milk times ten. Fresh milk comes from Hitano cows and white goats kept in the village. It's delicious on its own, but can also be used as an ingredient in soups and stews. <laughs> It'll be nice to have a night's sleep without worrying about my flock. And, er, if you want, you can talk to me anytime. O or not. Get in line, little lady. Get in line. Is she actually... Yeah, of course she's taller. Man, Link is so short. It kind of stinks. Because he's like 5'2". Yeah. Hello and good evening. The night wind is cold, yeah? What are you up to? What's it look like? I'm keeping watch over the windmills. My devoted wife and I stand guard day and night. She's not here right now. I mean, it's more of a time-sharing sort of thing. My love for her is so powerful that she suggested we take shifts. That way it feels more special when we're together. Funny, that was going to be my question to you. What are you doing skulking around in the dead of night? Are you here to steal my windmills? Because if you are, we will have some words, and I will, you, I will speak to you with this stool I'm sitting on. I'm a thief. Haha, <laughs> you want to play guards and bandits? Okay, sure, you're under arrest. Satisfied? Oh no, it's the robber man. Hide your jewels and heirlooms. Mm. Something I can do for you? What do you, uh... Let's see if we can get the prompt again. I'm a traveler. Are you now? Well, that's fine. You do seem harmless enough. Haha, mm. <laughs> really? They say everyone is lost in the woods of life. Or woods to that effect. The inn is down the hill past the bridge. They got some soft beds and reasonable rates down there if you want a night's sleep. Oh. Hello there, lost boy. What can I do for you? What's this thing? Mm. This? Good question. I'm not quite sure of myself. But apparently the director, Hateno Ancient Tech Lab, lights it with the blue flame. The Hateno Ancient Tech Lab is at the top of this hill. Mark the smoke pouring from the chimney in there and you'll find it. Nobody lives there but a weird old man and a strange old lady. Only the kids in town are foolish enough to go, go near it. Bye! I'm gonna go steal your windmill now. I think that that was a very productive episode. We read Daruk's diary and knocked out two quests, getting that much closer to 100%ing the game and finishing the Let's Play. Next time, we're going to talk to the remainder of people in Hitano Village, as well as heading all the way down south to the coast to vis revisit Luralin Village, because there is at least one quest awaiting us there. And just as a quick reminder, while I am going to each of these cities and talking to people, that doesn't mean that we won't ever return to these places. This is just my last opportunity in the Let's Play to find these quests myself or with the aid of you guys in the comments. At, past that point, I'm going to be using a guide, looking up every missed quest that I do not have, and knocking them out using the guide. Or at least locating them using the guide. This is just my last opportunity to find them myself. Alright! Thank you guys so much for watching. I release new episodes of Breath of the Wild every Monday and Wednesday. And join me next time where we get 866 Korok Seeds and the second to last episode before we 100% that too. Actually, it's the last episode. See you guys then.
Hmm. <laughs> 